You have some thoughts about population as a driver beneath all of these things that we're talking about. Um, what should be done about population? For a long time, it was considered politically incorrect to even mention it. And most of the big uh, conservation organizations refused to mention it. But I always thought, I mean, you see what happens. In the old days, there were cultures in a lot of these indigenous people, and you had lots of children because they looked after you in your old age, and you shared out the land. But now it's different, and they know it's different. And that's why there were bare hills all around Gombe. So we, we've introduced in our program, we've introduced family planning, so welcomed by the people because they know that things are different. And of course, this administration is cutting family planning around the developing world, which is terrifying to me. And so if you approach family planning right, it's something that's very, very important. And when it was considered politically incorrect to mention it, and I was determined to mention it, I decided to call it voluntary population optimization. <laughs> so by the time people worked it out. <laughs> and research shows educating girls is one of the yeah, smartest I things. I meant to say that, yes, indeed. Women's education, empowering women and scholarships to keep girls in school beyond puberty. Family size then tends to drop worldwide, indeed.